Hi, in this video I would like to cover a very basic but useful skills in physics and that's called the unit conversion. If you remember earlier, we talked about how prefix will affect the order of magnitude to a certain value. For example, how we can convert millimeter to meter, how to convert from gram to kg, but then there are times where it may involve more than one unit. So in this video, I'll show you how we can do it easily. Actually, the easiest way is nothing to do with physics. It's just simply go to Google, uh, you type convert km per hour to meter per second, then you can get basically get a calculator to do that. So for example, if you do 60, they will tell you it's about 16.7 meter per second. So of course, this is not something I want to um, teach you really, uh, but then this is an option we can use to confirm your answer. So let me show you in a more mathematical or physics way of how to convert uh, one unit to another. So here you want to convert km per hour to meter per second. Um, because you actually don't care whether it is 60 km per hour or 50 or 30 or 10 km per hour, the first thing that you must know is how much it is for one km per one hour can be converted to how many meter per how many seconds, right? So after you can find out this, what you can do is just multiply 60 each side and then you can just work out the answer. So the first thing that you may want to work out is um, in this fraction, how much it is for one km uh, it could convert into meter. So obviously from what you learn, the answer is 1000. And also similarly for one hour, how many seconds it can convert into. So uh, I suppose you know in one hour there are 60 minutes and each minute got 60 seconds so there will be 60 times 60 or some of you may already know is 3600. So in that case you'll be able to find out uh, then 60 km per hour if you use your calculator you should be able to find out 16.6667 so let's just put down 16.7 meter per second. So this would align with what we find on Google as well. Some of you may try to think and argue with me that, hey, uh, Mr. Wong, actually I have done this many, many times. I actually remember that we just have to uh, di divide the km per hour with 3.6, then you can get meter per second. Why do we bother to do such a lengthy calculation? My first reason is um, you I, I personally would not like to memorize an answer. So I won't want to memorize the number 3.6, first of all. Um, I would rather remember or get used to the logical thinking, the logical reasoning. So you got to use um, logic to deduce how these two units are derived or converted. The second thing is uh, when you convert from km per hour to meter per second, yes, you will do divide. However, if you do the other way around, that means meter per second to km per hour, what you have to do will be times 3.6. So I suppose you only remember 3.6, but you don't, you probably won't remember it is divide or times. So it, it just taught me a lot of brain cell to remember all these things. I hate memorizing stuff. And that's why I like physics because many things that in physics you can actually derive. So um, I would rather stick with the way that I do here in, in these uh, skills. So I don't have to remember basically anything. As long as you know uh, 1 km is 1000 meter, 1 hour is 3600 second, you'll be able to work out the answer. Let me show you one more example. So let's say we want to convert from 1 meter cube to uh, cm cube. So you want to do this. Okay, so how do we actually do it? Um, the easiest way is to understand the idea of cube is to multiply itself three times. So what you can do is you can imagine this as in 1 meter times 1 meter times 1 meter. Okay, and then what you can get is by simply think of how 1 meter will equal to how many cm. So that will be 100 cm obviously, and that will multiply itself for three times. So that is to say, 
the answer is one meter cube equals to 10 to the power of here's two here's two here's, so that means in the total of six cm cube all right so that means if you want to uh, somehow find them a random volume so let's say 24 let's say then you just have to multiply 24 on both sides all right depending on your needs so for now I would like to leave the last question for you as an exercise pause the video try it now and I'll show you the answer a few moments later so I hope you understand how we do and you find out the pattern so the first thing that you want to do is to write down the unit you want to convert from in one for each the whole unit so and then you write an equal sign of the unit that you want to convert it into okay and then uh, you just have to think about how each of these will convert from each other so one kg again will be 1000 gram and one meter cube like uh, what we did earlier will be 10 to the power of 6 cm cube so if you try to uh, simplify this that means by the way this is a unit of density by the way kg per meter cube equals to this in fact is 10 to the power of 3 right so I hope you have learned this in maths that would be 10 to the power of negative 3 gram per cm cube so that would be the answer again don't memorize the answer but to learn the skills and method to derive your own answer from now on you will be able to handle all these kind of questions Thank you.